YouTube fam, it's that time of week again. Time for food review. We're here in Lenore City, beautiful Lenore City, at Freddy's Steak Burgers and Custard. All right, guys. So Freddy's apparently started in 2002. It serves 35 states. You know, I had thought it maybe it was like a combination of that weird place between fast food and a sit-down restaurant. But going on the inside, it seems more just like fast food. So uh, anyway, YouTube. Let's get in here. Let's place an order and see what Freddy's has to offer. Uh, yeah, can I get a, uh, can I get a number two? Uh, uh yeah, replace, replace the mayo with, uh, may I mean the, uh, mustard with mayo. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and... Yeah, I made a combo. And I'll take Coke to drink with mine. Uh, French fries? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, French fries, onions, or cheese. Ah, I go with French fries. We'll keep it classic. Anything else? That's it. This for here or two down? It's going to be for here. 22 Okay, here we are on the inside. Guys, I messed up and filmed at the wrong angle, so I've already ordered my food. I've already got my food, and I have to kind of refilm this. So we're going to take a quick look around the inside of the restaurant. We're going to take a quick look at the side over here. Um, it's got uh, some cool stuff about Freddy's. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to have to make this quick because I don't want my burger to get cold. So here's the inside of the restaurant. I mean, really, it's a pretty small place, kind of typical American fast food. Got your drink station over here, but what uh, but what got my attention was this. So, to make a point, they've got a lot of uh, stuff about the founder. I think it's actually the father of the founder. Uh, give you guys a second to read that. Panning around. So they got a proud tradition of military. It looks like they honor their military uh, people and stuff like that. That's cool. All right, guys. I screwed up and filmed the whole first part of this at the wrong camera angle, so I'm having to kind of go back and lick my calf over, so to speak. I'm going to get out of here, and we're going to eat this burger. They have a nice outdoor dining area. We're going to try and eat out there. Um, I'll show you what the weather looks like. That might not be a possibility. So let's get to it, YouTube. guys like i said they got a nice little outdoor dining area uh, we're gonna eat outside but uh as you see we might be making a mad dash to the inside let's just see what happens all right guys so we placed our order and this is what came my partner got the california burger take a quick look under the hood here it looks pretty good it looks pretty good it's actually got the veggies and stuff on and it looks like they do a serious smash burger type of thing which is right up my friggin' alley not gonna lie to you um i noticed the fries so they're shoestring fries and you know me guys i am a fry aficionado but these are tiny tiny little fries uh but and let's look under the hood of this one look at that classic classic american burger smash burger it's a double it's supposed to have bacon up there's the bacon all right guys let's see what she eats like so the fries these are odd little things. They are so tiny. Uh, now, I prefer a shoestring fry as opposed to, say, like the thick steak fries, all potato -y and starchy on the inside. Um, I like it when they're nice and crisp on the outside. Now, they were nice enough to give us some uh, extra packets of mayo, which I will apply now because, as you all know, I like my burgers well lubed. Now, I'll show you guys this. Um, if you'll notice, oh, when I say a smash burger, I'm talking freaking smash burger. Now, I like that personally. 
better than a big old thick burger because when you need a big old giant thick burger at some point it feels like I'm just gnawing on ground beef. A smash burger, I'd rather have three smash patties as one big thick patty. That's just me. So I'm excited about this personally. Um, well, we've looked under the hood. We've checked out the fries. Now let's see how she eats. I'd steal my partner's napkin, old napkin pirate over here. Mm. So, they advertise it as a steak burger. And what I take that to mean is they don't just use like the regular ground chuck. They actually take maybe a cheaper grade of steak, but steak nonetheless, and they grind that into ground beef. I can't say with the initial bite that I'm getting that kind of quality out of it. Oh, it's good. It's a good burger. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's bad. Let's take a couple more bites. Get into the burger. See what we're working with here. Hmm. So, it's better than a Hardee's burger for sure. It's not as thick, it doesn't have that fake charcoal flavor to it. It's an authentic smash burger. Uh, honestly, I think maybe I was expecting a little bit more. I feel a little disappointed right now. Um, maybe not horribly so. It's not a bad burger, don't get me wrong. I just, for, you know, steak burgers, I was expecting maybe a little bit more. I, I don't know. So, it's that time in the video, YouTube fam. I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish my meal up. And uh, hopefully, before it starts freaking raining on us, I'll jump on here, give you some last impressions. And then, um, for the final segment, we'll do our Google review. All right, YouTube fam. See you in a minute. All right, YouTube, we were able to do that without getting rained on. Uh, seems like a small miracle, uh, judging by the way the weather looks. Um, so, Freddy's Steak Burgers. Ah, uh, you know, I think I was expecting a little bit more. Um, with that being said, you know, my fiance made a good point, you know, um, and she doesn't eat a lot of fast food at all. She's like, oh, no, this is definitely better than, say, a McDonald's or Hardee's or something like that. And I think she's right. Um, at the end of the day, you can tell it's better quality ingredients. Um, I really like the smash burger concept. Um, all in all, it was a good burger. Um, it was a little bit more fast foody than what I thought it was going to be as far as the restaurant, the layout and stuff. I do have to say the focus on uh, Freddy and uh the guys i guess the founder's father or something or um was kind of cool uh i read a lot of stuff about him in there um uh, all in all i mean i don't give number scores anymore if i were i'd probably give it like a six out of ten or something not bad uh i went and used the bathroom it was a little messy in there uh it was a single bathroom that was nice but uh all in all it's basically it's basically a, a fast food joint without a drive through you know. Uh, a little bit better quality burger. Granted, really interesting fries. They were the tiniest little fries I've ever seen in my freaking life, man. Um, but all in all, I mean, a notch above average. I mean, it's it's one notch above a uh, fast food joint. Anyway, YouTube, um, one of the reasons we sat outside was because of the damn, uh, they had music in there. and. My last video, I got a copyright strike. 
I mean, not trying to copyright any damn songs. I'm not a fan of music while I try to eat my food anyway. I think I said that last video. Um, also, guys, please excuse my unkempt appearance. Uh, it's the weekend, and I just don't freaking care. Uh, final thing, guys, listen. I'm on a big drive to get subscribers. If I get up to 200 subscribers, I can start live streaming on YouTube, and I've got some great ideas. Anyway... YouTube fam, if you haven't yet, click that subscribe button. Give me a like, a uh, comment, the comment section would be awesome. And uh, remember fam, stay hungry, keep your burgers well lubed. All right. <coughs> it's time for the Google review. Um, my film seems a little grainy, but I don't know. I guess that's just part of it. So, uh, without further ado, let's get to the Google review. Okay, this will be a fairly short review. I looked forward to trying this place for a long time. I guess my expectations were too high. In my head, I thought it was somewhere between a sit-down restaurant and a fast food joint. But it leaned more toward the fast food atmosphere and ambiance. The burgers were what one would call a smash burger, which is right up my alley. The fries were shoestring, but the smallest shoestring I've ever seen. This is not a bad thing, though. It is my personal preference and tends towards uh, my personal preference tends toward that type of fry. The burger, for its part, was about one step above a regular fast food burger. All in all, I feel that I had set my expectations too high. The service was wonderful, and the food was good enough. As I said before, one step above a regular fast food joint but nothing that I would say knocked it out of the ballpark. There you have it, guys. It's so like I said uh, in the review and um, also uh, in the you know final thoughts, one step above a fast food joint, uh, same atmosphere and vibe as a fast food joint. The food, you could tell, was just that smidge quality better. The burger was good. It just wasn't what I was expecting. Anyway, YouTube fam, like I said, smash that subscribe button. I'm on a big subscriber kick. If I can get 200, we start live streaming. Boy, won't that be fun. Anyway, stay hungry. And remember, keep your burgers well lubed.